Hi everyone, um, we meet again. Welcome to my channel. Uh, last night when I posted my picture of uh, green juice, a picture of me and my green juice for dinner, a lot of people asked me, started asking me like, hey Bobby, like how can you only eat one meal a day? And which is why in this video, I'm going to explain to you my diet regime, which, which is just OMAD for one meal a day, all right? So, yeah, without further ado, I'm going to, you know, start with the story how I figure out this method, basically. Um, when I watch, I, at some point, I watched this Netflix series called uh, Hungry and Hairy. So it's a Korean show about a mukbang. So it's a travel video, a travel Netflix show with Rain, uh, the Korean superstar, you know, the one who sing and dance and one of his partner, I think his name is Hong Chul. He's a comedian in Korea, something like that. And apparently uh, in this clip, when I was watching it, I was so surprised how Rain can eat so much, you know, he can just take anything that comes his way and he just you know demolish everything he just ate so much and i always wondered like how can somebody eat that much and still maintain that good you know body figure as you might know rain has a really great body like he got six packs he got like such a ripped body for for uh dancing and things like that i understand that he burns a lot of calories from practice you know from dancing practice and all that but it always fascinates me how he can he can keep his body without getting too much fat despite the fact that i was watching him eating like he was mukbang so hard in that show uh, i don't know if you've seen it but i really recommend you to to uh, you know watch it because it has two of my favorite things in the world which is motorcycle so he was traveling all over the world with a motorcycle no not all over the world all over korea uh, with a motorcycle so he uses like harley davidson he used the bmw sportsters and all that stuff so it's one of my favorite show to watch because it has bikes and it has food right basically two of the most um delicious thing in the world for me so i come back to that story so i was watching rain and it always it always surprised me how he can maintain such a such a great body and, and all that so he mentioned that he this one meal a day kind of regime for his day-to-day -day activity so what he means by that is if he already ate one meal in the morning he's not he's not going to take lunch or dinner or if he uh, take dinner it means that he didn't eat breakfast or he didn't eat lunch beforehand something like that so only one meal a day one big meal a day and that's how he said like he could maintain such a great body because of that discipline from that moment on i started to thinking hey maybe i can i can start doing it you know like maybe i can try out this method because i've been dieting all my life trying to lose weight and nothing really works even exercise you know and, and no matter how hard i exercise I mean, no, matter how, no matter how long i exercise it never never been successful as much as uh, this one right here the OMAD, the one meal a day because when you're eating too many calories in your body even though you're burning it with the exercise or with workout it's still so hard for you to lose the fats right because it's the calorie intake so what you need to do is to lower either you lower your food portions you have to count your calories which is very difficult to do in my opinion like i, I tried it and it never happens um, or you can try this just eat one time a day just once a day and so far this is the most successful I've, I've lost like maybe 40 pounds in the past you know like I, I was very chubby uh, I was a little overweight last time around and I didn't really like it I didn't really like the effects on my body because I feel more tired uh, it's so heavy to lift my body I cannot do a lot more activities. I get sleepy a lot, and things like that, because a lot of sugar in my body, right? But now that I'm leaner, uh, it has a lot of positive impacts on me because now I get to be more agile, have a lot more energy, I 
have a lot of mental clarity because of my, you know, my body doesn't have to work so hard to uh, control that sugar level in your body. Right? So the beginning is the hardest because you have to almost like submit to your mind because your mind keeps telling you hey this is the time to eat your body needs to eat and then it starts to rumble you know your stomach starts to rumble and it, it gets really hard to control that it's, it gets really hard to subdue your hunger so um, my suggestion is to take it easy if you really want to do this so take it easy just if your body is telling you you need to eat just follow it you know because I don't want to advise something that against you your body always listen to it listen to your body but also you need to lower the portion maybe just lower it slightly you know one by one or even just take one spoon you know just a single bite it will help you to regulate that hunger once there's a food in your stomach your stomach starts to understand okay so this person is eating it means like there's gonna be food in my body and your your mind starts telling your body hey it's okay stomach don't rumble that much anymore because this person already ate and that's a hack that I always do so just a bite you don't have to finish the whole thing all right just a bite and that's that's enough to sustain you throughout your hunger so you're not gonna be hungry anymore so that's a, that's a good method to do right it's a good plan to do so try that try with just one bite and then the next time your body starts to crave for that food again take another bite but that's it you know you don't finish the whole thing say for a sandwich you just take a bite and that's it or i like to uh, help myself with some nuts you know like almonds that also helps walnuts things like that they will also help to regulate your hunger a little bit better um yeah apart from that uh, the more you do it the more easier it gets excuse me i was um, drinking my coffee here because it's it's 7 in the morning 7 a.m in the morning and i decided to do this video for you guys because last night was yeah a lot of people are started asking me how can you you know really sustain yourself with just one meal a day and even though you are uh, exercising i do to the gym a lot uh, every day i have uh, boxing classes i have judo classes i have work I have things to do, I have babies to take care of, and how can I have so, so much energy from just that one meal? And the answer is very simple because your body are used to it. And if your body is used to it, your mind, you start to get a control of your mind and then you, you start to, you know, command your body, hey, this if you can if you can do this, if you can sustain this crazy state which is hunger you can overcome whatever it is in, in your life it gets so easy for you for your mind to decide hey even hunger cannot win you know even hunger cannot win and how can you let anything else win in your life you can't you are the one who's winning because you are the one who is in control of everything every aspect in your life including your discipline including your mindset including everything else so that's the first thing to do you have to master be a master of your own body if you want to master everything else and the next the next thing is going to be your mind your mind's going to follow if your body is great you know there's this correlations correlations between body and mind if your body is strong your mind is going to follow your mind is going to be strong as well and if your mind is strong you don't have to uh, tell your body to be strong so that comes both way you know and that's the thing that always intrigues me how to master my mind how to control my mind to do what i want instead of uh, it telling me you know hey you, you can't do this or you can't do that no i'm the one in control if you say if you if i say i can do it then it means it can be done All right so that's basically the the concept behind it. and yeah uh it might be it might be difficult if you, but if you really want to follow this uh, i think it will be beneficial for you because not only you're gonna you're gonna be more fit you know in your physical you're gonna have more energy because the more you exercise the more you um can sustain these states the more energy you will get from your body without food all right so human body have this uh, sort of superpower thing that if you can 
if you can really get it out of your body without any outside elements, for example, food, food is a big, a big source for energy. But if you can do it without it, if you can, if you can get your energy without it, it will be even bigger. The energy that you get from your body is even bigger because human, we already have a lot of things, a lot of uh, nu- nutrients, nu- yeah, nutrients in your body. So it is already there you don't have to add more you know um carbs protein or anything like that yeah protein is very important i think the one thing that you can really completely not completely cut but at least reduce it is probably carbs because carbs doesn't really do anything it just makes you lazy it just makes you sleepy because of that bl- uh, that sugar in your blood uh, it takes a while for your body to digest it and it will make you sleepy i guarantee you because every time i eat uh carbs like sandwich bread or rice the rice is a big thing once i start eating it i start to get really sleepy so i avoid those those things especially during the day because i want to work i want to perform uh better i want to perform to my best ability and if i start craving for, for sugar or start craving for rice then my body is just gonna shut down and I just so malaise, so tired the whole day. So yeah, I don't like that feeling. Uh, I don't like being sleepy throughout the day. So I avoid it and I just take proteins or like some greens throughout the whole day. And then maybe for dinner, because you, it's almost rest time, it's okay for you to eat carbs because, and then you can sleep afterwards, right? Basically you can rest. But before that, yeah, I, I tend to avoid those kind of things because I really don't like being uh, being told what to do, basically, by my mind. Um, yeah, if you can if you can do that, I will guarantee you, you're gonna start feeling better. So that's it. Yeah, try it out. Uh, just a little explanation over why I started doing this, and I can I really start to feel the benefits. If you, if you don't believe me try it for yourself no other kind of diet will work this is the only thing that will work just reduce the amount of food that you consume that's it that's it so simple so simple in concept but it's very hard to do but once you do it you just follow the momentum it gets easier day by day it gets so easy Uh, and afterwards it becomes a state of thoughts just like uh, that thing that scene in dragon ball i don't know if you if you follow Dragon Ball Z, you know, in the past, as I as I am, uh, Goku and Gohan, they went to the uh, this room where time doesn't really affect them. So they stay in this room and they are practicing, right? I mean, uh, Goku start saying like Gohan start asking Goku, hey, uh, why am I if I'm in a Super Saiyan state? Why am I so angry all the time? Yeah, it's because you're not used. To it. Because you're not used being a super saiyan, that's why you're angry. And if you want to elevate that, if you want to get past that super saiyan level, then you have to be content in that state. So the whole time they were in super saiyan state, but instead of um, letting the anger wins, they have to subdue it. They have to really make that their natural state, being in a super saiyan state, their natural state. And when they came out of that room, they become such a completely different person because they look so calm everybody was like so surprised when they see them how can they look so different even though they are, are super saiyan so that's basically the same concept here you know uh, if you can control it if it can if the state of hunger can become your everyday natural states i believe you can we can do whatever it is even becoming super saiyan <laughs> you know what i mean all right so thanks again for listening to me um in details about explaining this in details about how I do my diet and all that stuff so thank you again if you have any question don't forget or like you know, don't hesitate to hit the comment sections I would do my bef- my very best to answer them I always answer the comment sections so whatever question you have for me put it there in the comment section and don't forget to like and subscribe to this video as well so I can keep continue making on videos and Uh, Yeah, I'll see you guys next time then. All right. Bye-bye.